the Emperor Penguin, the celebrity of the frozen world, the one everyone recognizes, yet barely understands. This giant reaches over 1.2 meters tall, basically a toddler in a tuxedo, but with much better posture. Built for survival, wrapped in four layers of insulation. Yes, four. If you tried that, you'd pass out. The Emperor? He just strolls through minus 40 degrees Celsius like it's mildly inconvenient. And the males? Oh, the males. They stand for 65 days, balancing a single egg on their feet, without eating, while hurricane-level winds punch them in the face. Romantic? Not really. Heroic? Absolutely. But here's the twist. Despite all this toughness, emperors are hilariously clumsy on land. Aquatic titans, terrestrial disasters, and trust me, it only gets weirder from here. And if you think the emperor is impressive, wait until you meet the king. The King Penguin, the runner-up of the Antarctic Monarchy, and honestly, the only royal who looks almost as fancy as the Emperor. Slightly smaller, yes, but with brighter colors, sharper contrasts, and that orange neck patch that screams, I take fashion seriously. Kings don't live deep in Antarctica like emperors. They prefer sub-Antarctic islands, which is basically the penguin version of, I want cold weather, but not too cold. They can dive over 300 meters, chasing lanternfish and squid with ridiculous stamina. And their colonies? They form crowds of hundreds of thousands, a chaotic sea of tuxedos yelling simultaneously. It's like a festival, if every attendee smelled like fish. But the real twist is their parenting cycle. It can stretch up to 16 months for a single chick. One baby taking more than a year. Respect. And if you think kings are stylish, wait until you meet the Adeli. Tiny, angry, and absolutely unhinged. The Adeli penguin. Small, round-eyed, and deceptively adorable. Until you see what it actually does. Standing around 70 centimeters tall, Adelis look like cartoon characters, but behave like tiny agents of chaos. They steal nesting stones, start random fights, and will charge at anything that annoys them, including seals, skuas, and sometimes scientists. Their perfectly circular black eyes give them that intense, I know what you did, stare, which only adds to their unhinged vibe. Yet beneath the madness, they're efficient hunters. They can swim close to five kilometers per hour, snapping up krill with laser precision. And their colonies stretch for kilometers, a noisy, frantic swarm that never seems to stop arguing. But if the Adeli is raw chaos, the Gentoo is sleek, fast, and shockingly athletic. The Gentoo Penguin, the athlete of the penguin world. Leaner, sleeker, and built like it's late for every appointment. Instantly recognizable by its bright white head stripe, the Gentoo looks like it's wearing a racing helmet. And honestly, it deserves one. These birds are the fastest swimmers of all penguins, reaching speeds over 36 kilometers per hour. That's faster than Michael Phelps a dolphin on a lazy day, and probably faster than you running from responsibilities. Gentoos use that speed to chase krill and fish with ridiculous agility, twisting underwater like torpedoes with manners. On land, they're surprisingly gentle. Their nests are neat circles of pebbles, and they defend them with a calm determination the Adeli could never achieve. But don't get too comfortable, because the next penguin, the chin strap, looks like it's perpetually plotting revenge. The chin strap penguin, the bird that looks like it's wearing a permanent smirk because of that thin black line under its beak, like a villain's mustache drawn with a marker. They're medium-sized, sharp-looking, and somehow always appear annoyed. And honestly, they kind of are. Chinstraps are famously loud. Their colonies sound like a stadium of angry fans shouting over a referee they all hate. Scientists call it vocal communication. I call it daily screaming practice. They're fierce defenders of their nests, chasing off anything that dares come close, including other chinstraps. And their climbing skills are absurd. They scale steep, icy cliffs to reach rocky breeding sites like feathery mountaineers. Despite the attitude, they're incredible swimmers and excellent parents. 
But attitude is nothing until you meet the Rock Hopper, a penguin with actual eyebrows of chaos. The Rock Hopper Penguin, the punk of the penguin world. Short, spiky, and born with yellow eyebrows that look like they're permanently judging you. They're small, barely 50 centimeters tall, but packed with more attitude per gram than almost any other bird alive. Rock hoppers don't walk, they bounce from rock to rock, launching themselves up cliffs with the energy of a caffeinated goat. Their red eyes, wild feathers, and constant head shaking make them look like they're listening to heavy metal at all times. Despite the chaos, they're skilled hunters, diving up to 100 meters for fish and krill, and their colonies are loud, crowded, and full of dramatic disputes over territory and mates. But if rock hoppers feel unreal, wait until you meet the Little Blue, a penguin so tiny it barely seems possible. The Little Blue Penguin, also known as the Fairy Penguin, and yes, it's exactly as tiny as it sounds. This is the smallest penguin on Earth, standing just 30 to 35 centimeters tall and weighing about a kilo, basically a penguin fun size edition. Their feathers aren't black at all, they're a deep, shimmering blue, giving them a soft, almost magical look. But don't let the cuteness fool you. Little blues are fast, bold, and surprisingly territorial for something that could fit in a grocery bag. They spend their days hunting fish close to shore and return at night in groups, waddling across beaches in organized mini parades that tourists adore. They nest in burrows, logs, even under houses, turning quiet towns into secret penguin suburbs. But if the little blue is a gentle surprise, the African penguin flips the script completely. A penguin built for heat, not ice. The African penguin, the final twist in our journey. A penguin that doesn't live in snow, ice, or anything even close. These birds thrive on the warm coasts of South Africa and Namibia, basking in sunlight like feathery tourists who forgot to book a return flight. They're medium-sized, charming, and instantly recognizable by the pink patches above their eyes. Natural thermostats that help release heat. Yes, a penguin with built-in AC. But their most iconic trait? The sound. African penguins don't chirp. They bray. Loudly. Like a donkey demanding attention. It's so distinctive, they're nicknamed the Jackass Penguin. They're excellent swimmers and devoted parents, but their numbers are dropping fast due to overfishing and habitat loss. A reminder that even the toughest species need protection. Gorillas, the quiet giants of the ape world. If you made it all the way to the end, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, hit the bell, and tell me which penguin surprised you the most.